A piece of Rome comes to Indianapolis with their chance to see one of the world's greatest artistic achievements up close. Well, where is Sherman? Well, he is live downtown where Michelangelo's ceiling paintings from the Sistine Chapel will open on exhibit this very morning. Hi, Sherman. Hi, good morning. Yeah, actually at 10 o'clock this morning, Ange, right here inside Circle Center, Circle Center Mall. Uh, if you know, familiar with the mall, right on Meridian and Washington Streets, right on the corner with Old Carson's department store, that's where this uh, exhibition sits. And actually the main interest to that is off of Meridian. But I tell you, you got to come see this. It's fantastic. As you mentioned, Michelangelo or Michelangelo Sistine Chapel exhibition. It opens today at 10 o'clock. There are some beautiful pieces of work here that a very special um, production if you will from the ceilings of the Sistine Chapel these frescoes 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 yeah. excuse me that are now here uh, how many 30 34 34 of them okay this is uh, Tobias Lerman Matante who is the associate producer of C Global Entertainment, the guy's bringing this. Okay, give us a little snapshot, if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, so when you come in here, you're actually gonna find 34 frescoes, life-size. The difference is, instead of all of them being kind of put together on this, you know, 60 feet above you, in a crammed room with 15 minutes, we got them, we kind of dissected it, spread it out so you can really appreciate every single piece of art, little by little, kind of see what the story is behind every fresco and, and what, what Michelangelo was trying to say with every, each one of these works of art. And as you mentioned, if you go to Sistine Chapel, because I, I think it's estimated about six million plus viewers, uh, visitors a, a year. Mm -hmm. uh, it, very short, very crammed. Yes. You, get, you can only see it from a distance. You can't take pictures. But here, yeah. you get to see it up close. And what technology are we looking at that brings this? Yeah, here? so this is actually called SEG printing or silicone edge graphics. And the, the, the beauty of this is we bring them life size with, and it kind of preserves the look, the texture, the color of the frescoes. Because frescoes aren't painting, frescoes are done with plaster. And we want to make sure this, this really captures that. So when we have so many people who come and look at them and they're like, how'd you guys get somebody to come paint these recreations? You're like, no, these are actually- These are actually- Photographs. These photograph. are high resolution photographs, but, but because of the way they're done, they look just like somebody painted them in person. So the genesis here. Yeah. No, when you, when we walk through this, I, you said to me, hey, you know, if you got a chance to touch it, you're not, not really allowed to yeah. do that. But the, the texture is like a fabric? Yeah, it is. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Is it, it, it this is a show that we take all over the world and we want to make sure it can go into anywhere, like an old department store. So they're easy to set up, easy to, easy to bring down, and, and look just as good as the real thing. Okay, let's talk about how you can experience this because you see there's a QR code. So there's, a, yeah. there's a, a, an app you need to download. Yes, there's an app that you can download. Uh, when you come in here, you actually just scan a QR code, download it. Then with every, every single one of these little placards, you scan it. And aside from the information that's provided um, on the placard itself, there's an audio guide that will tell you even more. So you're basically going to learn a ton of information about each individual fresco that right. you will not be able to get, even if you were to have Wikipedia up at the chapel itself. So you get all that information yeah. that's right here, and you just kind of an audio uh, uh, guide through it all. Plus, you can also get one of these guides as a souvenir to take with you. Yep. All right, opens at 10 o'clock today. Yep. General admission, I think, is twenty. It's around twenty-one dollars. Yeah, twenty-one fifty for adults, and I think there's an extra added for a, 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 a VIP a, a VIP pass. Yeah. Uh, it goes through uh, August thirty-first, so it opens today again at ten o'clock through August thirty-first. Uh, Michelangelo or Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, the exhibit. I'm telling you, you walk in here, and it just takes your it takes your breath away. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, exhibit. We're giving you a little snapshot of it. Uh, this morning, live downtown Circle City or City Center Mall, I should say, Circle Center Mall, um, right at the corner of Michi or Meridian Street and Washington. That is pretty incredible. That is neat. And speaking of the real it thing, is. Jim just showed uh, me pictures of he and his wife visit to Rome to see the real thing, and it's just incredible just to see what he showed me and to see those frescoes. That's awesome. What a what a treat, Sherman. Thank you. Yeah.